Uh oh, looks like we have a leak. We better take a look. Whilst I'm getting the Unimog naked here, I just wanted to take the opportunity to thank you for joining us. Thanks to all the new subscribers and all the like. It's really nice to have you here. So I hope you liked the video. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, that was his spot. There's the leak. We better do something about this. What you're seeing here is a sped up clip and timer showing how the oil leak develops. As you can see, it takes about three minutes for the oil to become visible on the filter housing. The oil continues to run down the filter housing and by 10 minutes it's starting to drip onto the ground. You have to remember that here the truck is stationary and it's only ticking over at idle. And that's how the oil leak manifests itself. It drips from the top of the oil filter housing to the bottom of it. You can easily check it by bending down and looking under the truck from about the headlight uh, position in towards the center of the truck. If your oil filter housing is dry, everything's tickety-boo, obviously. But if it's uh, wet and leaking, then it needs to be fixed. Oil leaks are very dangerous, so don't uh, skip on this one. Take your nitrile glove, your disposable nitrile glove, and uh, chop off a finger or two, as many as you need, and you get perfect protectors for open hose ends and things like that. Uh, and this is difficult. Hmm, practice maybe. There we go. Squeeze the air out of the tip And then you can use a zip tie or just, uh, in this case, I'll use some tape just to, to tie it together a bit so it doesn't fly off in the wind. So, there you go. Those are now protected. So now I can proceed with uh, the rest of it without being too afraid of getting contamination into those things. Now 
I don't like the idea of just uh, replacing a part without knowing what actually failed. So I spent a long time trying to figure out what actually was wrong with this uh, oil filter bracket and uh, where the oil leak came from. Sadly, I couldn't find a crack or anything like that. As you saw from the earlier video, the leak came from one of the bolt holes, so it could have just been a broken seal. When this engine is new, it should run at about 5 bars, that's 72.5 psi, at full speed. So there doesn't have to be a very big crack for oil to leak out at the rate that we saw in the video earlier. As I couldn't find a crack, I was wondering what was the right thing to do. Would a seal have done it or should we have done what we are doing in the video? I came to the conclusion that if Mercedes had deemed this bracket uh, needing a new casting and a new part number and all that, then it probably was a good idea to change the bracket too. So I think they know more than me. So here we have them side by side. The new one obviously and the old one. There's a larger filter in the old one. I don't know why. I'm sure Kaz will come along and tell you. I think I'm going to have to admit that this one's beaten me. Despite all the research that I've done, I've not managed to figure out why there are two different lengths of oil filter housings. I have managed to confirm though that the oil filter elements both have the same internal and external diameter it's just the length that varies. What adds to my confusion is that one website I found, depending on the path I took, seemed to list both length oil filter elements under the same part number. Not very helpful and very confusing. The uh, banjo bolts go on to here, that's the uh, lubrication for the fuel pump, and then the oil sender unit goes on the back there. Those are all scavenged from the old one. And then the new gasket is a stainless steel one with uh, some rubber inserts in it, so it looks very sturdy. So without further ado, I'm going to fit it now. What's your thoughts about the oil filter? Yeah, it's shiny. Yep, approved. That's not going to fit, is it? So my torque wrench and socket do, do not fit in there. Uh, I had hoped to use the what's called crow's feet uh, spanner to uh, fix it, but I don't have them here. So at the moment, I'm just going to have to tighten them to FT. Click. 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 I 
I'm putting a bit of oil in just because I know that I've drained quite a bit so I'm just sort of topping that bit up. It's just over half a litre. I know it's not going to be enough but it's uh, at least giving it a little bit to slow from when we crank it over. got oil in the engine and now it's time to crank it over. So it's time to crank the engine over and uh, there's a wording in the manual that I understand what it means but I don't know where to do it. and. Uh, can't remember it off the top of my head so I might put it on the screen but basically you should crank the engine over until you have oil pressure the whole oil filter reservoir is now empty so this might take a while so I'm gonna do it with pressing down on the, the stop button uh, you I believe you can also do this by holding the f throttle pedal up so let's uh, Let's give it a crank and see if it uh, works. So clutch down. Uh, we're in neutral. I'll push the thingy down and then I'll crank. Okay, so that was one go. No oil pressure. So Let's uh, give it another go. No oil pressure still. So I'm going to do it once more. really like the feeling of this. I'm gonna leave it. Leave the batteries for a moment to catch their breath too. And once more. There we go. So now I'm going to go outside and uh, make sure that uh, there's no leaks. The truck has been idling now for a little while and I think everything's looking good. The oil pressure is good and uh, I can't see any leaks. I want to turn it off now and then do a thorough inspection under there and everything looks, if everything looks okay, I will uh, then just uh, top up the oil and uh, we're done for today. So it might be that we actually won this one, so rock and roll. Okay, let's do an inspection. Nothing there. All seems good. What about at the back here? Again, all seems good. Let's climb underneath. Yeah, all seems good. Nice and warm. Check. 
check this up here too. Yeah, yeah all good. Right. So yeah, I think we won this one. Let's check the oil before we button her up. There's actually quite a lot of oil in there. So uh, I'm not going to top it up because we're at I'm sorry decline. So I'm going to leave it be, but I'm going to check it next time I'm not driving it. And that's it for this time. Let's put the clothes back on the mug and proceed to the next step. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you maybe learned something. But regardless, it's been a pleasure to have you here. And thanks for watching. And I hope to see you in the next one.